Your Excellency, Chief Minister Sri Narendra Modi, dignitaries of DICE, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Hidehiro Yoko, President of Japan External Trade Organization, or JETRO. First of all, let me convey my heartiest congratulations to all of you on this occasion of the vibrant Gujarat 2013. We at JETRO are proud of serving as a partner organization of this event since 2009 and are gratefully pleased to share this wonderful opportunity with the delegation from Japan comprising of more than 100 Japanese companies. In November 2011, JETRO concluded a memorandum of understanding with the state government of Gujarat to cooperate in promoting Japanese investment in the region, including through the development of industrial park for Japanese companies. On the occasion, I had the honor of witnessing, together with Chief Minister Modi, the signing of the MOU. Based on this agreement, JETA welcomed an investment promotion delegation from the state led by the Chief Minister and held a series of seminars throughout Japan. The encouraging and informative speech delivered by Chief Minister Modi during the seminars moved some 1,000 participants from Japanese companies and helped create a new boom in business for the state. Meanwhile, the JETRO has sent business delegations twice to Gujarat since last January with an attendance of 100 participants each. Organizing such large-scale delegations over such a short interval was an unprecedented achievement for us. I believe this demonstrates the significant interest Japanese companies have in Gujarat. Its potential is visible in the fact that the state has achieved the fastest economic growth and the most advanced infrastructure in India. Also, with Mauti Suzuki having decided to join the likes of Tata Motors, GM, and Ford by investing in the state, Gujarat is now becoming India's one of the largest hub for oat production. I believe this success is a tribute to Chief Minister Modi's clear vision decisive action, and strong leadership. In general, it is said that Japanese companies take time to make decisions on investment. However, once they make a decision, they are unwavering in seeing their plans through. I believe each Japanese company which has decided to invest in Gujarat is ready to devote itself to contributing to the development of the state and according to, to India as a whole. To strengthen our support function of the, the support for ja Japanese companies, we Jetro has just opened the project office here in Ahmedabad this month. Through this office, we will work to bridge these Japanese companies and the state government. Finally, I would like to conclude by wishing for the great success of this event and for the state of Gujarat to take lead in development of industry and serve as a new growth model for the country. Thank you for your attention.